Gulf Food 2023 is marking the Irish Food Board's 10 years of growth in the Middle East food industry following strategic investment and partnerships that have seen Irish exports to the region in the past 10 years climb substantially. Jim O'Toole is CEO of Board Beer, the Irish Food Board. Jim, great to have you with us here in the studio. What levels of, of trade are we, you know, we currently seeing between Ireland and the UAE? You know, how, how is it growing? How fast? Well, it's growing uh, very strongly, Greg. Um, ten years ago, exports from Ireland in food and drink uh, to this region were less than €1 million. Euros. Last year, they were €364 million. Euros. So from going from €1 million Euros in a year, it's now €1 million Euros per day in the last year. So we've had huge growth in the region. Uh, the growth to the region in exports from Ireland grew by 50%. Uh, and a half of the exports that come from Ireland go to, to, the, to the region, go to the UAA, UAE and to Saudi Arabia. And we export a huge range of products. Um, our biggest export sector is dairy. So 87% of what we export to the region uh, is dairy. So if you go into the supermarkets here, you will find Irish cheese and Irish butter. Uh, you'll also find other products in cereals and confectionery. You'll also find uh, uh, seafood uh, and meat. So the uh, uh, citizens here in, in Dubai are uh, now enjoying food and drink from Ireland uh, in quantities that they never enjoyed before. Very good news. Now, um, the UAE obviously is very much a trade hub and a substantial trade hub. How is that integrating with what you're doing in, in Ireland? Well, uh, at Gulf Food this year, we have 13 Irish companies that are exhibiting on our stand, on the Ireland stand in the World Food Hall. And uh, tomorrow, uh, we will be joined by a further 18 companies who are coming here because they're interested in understanding the opportunities that exist in this market. And as part of the work that we do uh, in the Irish Food Board is that we are trying to increase the capability and understanding of those companies so they can provide uh, greater opportunities to, to supply into Dubai. Because uh, Ireland is a small uh, country uh, and we have a very large export focus in our, in our food and drink sector. So, we export 90% of the food and drink that we produce. And of course, here in the UAE, there is an import requirement for 80%. So there is a natural marriage, if you like, between our, our two regions where we have an abundance uh, of exports uh, and for food and drink. And there is demand here in, in the region for, for, uh, for, for our, our, our produce. And we work with, the, uh, with retailers and we work also with uh, manufacturers and also in the food sector. So some of the, uh, some of the finest uh, restaurants that are here in Dubai, mm. you will be able to sample uh, Irish food. Now, Jim, what about the role of the, the governments, the government of Ireland and the, you know, your board beer and also the, the government of the UAE? How are you working together to promote trade and business? Well, uh, when Gulf Food was on last year, our Minister for Agriculture was part of the delegation and there was a, a memorandum of understanding signed between the Irish government and the, and the authorities here. And uh, we ha have signed that uh, understanding so that we can promote uh, te technological innovation and exchange our learning. One of the things that I think there is alignment is that the priorities for the government here in terms of uh, partnership, uh, and, and uh, business relationships, as well as environment and sustainability, uh, marry very well with the uh, priorities of the uh, Irish government because we have a 10-year strategy where we want to build connections around the world and also promote the sustainability of our, of our food and drink pr uh, products because uh, research that we have conducted uh, in the market here shows that over half of the consumers here uh, focus on uh, naturalness, traceability, uh, quality and food safety. And that's something that, that uh, we, we find resonates with our customers uh, in, in this region. Brilliant. We'll leave it there. We've run out of time. But Jim O'Toole, really appreciate you coming and joining us this evening. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.